Hi all, Rachel here. Um, I was asked on my blog to demonstrate how to stamp on candles and I'm going to show you how to finish up this set. Um, it is just a small candle and what you're going to want is your candle, some tissue paper, it's real cheap tissue paper that you use for um, putting in gift wrapping, things like that. I got it at the dollar store. And also you're going to want wax paper, just the stuff that you'd find in your kitchen. You'll also need um, an ink, any type of ink pretty much. Um, I use the dye ink. Um, you'll need a stamp as well as your heat gun. So to get started, let me back this off. I like to make sure I'm stamping on some kind of scrap paper because the ink will go through the tissue paper. And I'm using Ruby Red ink from Stampin' Up. And I'm using a um, snowflake image. And it's from Unity's Bright and Merry set. Let me get it really inked up. Okay. Go ahead and stamp on your tissue paper. You see the nice little image. You're going to want to go ahead and cut around this image fairly closely. You don't want to go too close and cut into your image, but you don't want to have a lot of excess. So let me get that cut up. Now you'll take and just lay your image on your stamp, however you want, to, or excuse me, on your candle, however you want it to look. I think that'll be fine. You'll take your wax paper and wrap it around. And you're going to want a lot of excess on the back so that way you can kind of hold on to it without having your fingers too close so you don't burn your fingers too much. We'll go ahead and turn on the heat gun. It is a little loud, but you'll see as I start to go, um, I'm hoping on the camera, that right here where the edge of the tissue paper is, it will kind of um, look wet and, it, and uh, it'll melt into the candle. And it doesn't take very long. I don't know if you can see it getting wet. And there you go. You can't see the tissue paper anymore. But your image is on the candle. If you have any other questions for me, you can check out my blog. And there's a few other examples of um, my candle boxes on my blog. As well as a link to the tutorial where I found this. Thanks.